The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Aaron Coriel. And I'm Captain Steve for Botest.com. And this is the Tahoe 215. A deck boat designed to hold 12 people and be a capable water sports platform. I'll do a detailed walkthrough. I'll do a full test. Let's begin here in the refreshment center. To the port side, there is a refreshment center that features a sink with a sprayer, a 15-gallon on-demand fresh water tank, ice chest, and stainless steel drink holders. When the sink is covered, it becomes a much needed counter space to prepare snacks or lunch. There's a 36 quart carry-on cooler and a dedicated storage space underneath the aft L-shaped lounge seating. Tahoe includes a pedestal table as standard with the 215. It has a raised edge to help keep plates from dropping to the deck. The bow features lounge seating on both sides with lumbar padded backrests providing a comfortable place to relax. At the stern, there's L-shaped seating just across from the helm. And this allows the captain to stay in touch with the conversations. At the end of the seat, there's a trash receptacle and the step to the rear boarding gate. All of the seating is upholstered in marine grade UV resistant vinyl. And there are two reboarding ladders to accommodate swimming off both the bow and the stern. The usual tow point is in the middle of the transom. Plus, we are equipped with the wakeboard tower, which added an elevated tow point. Plenty of courtesy lights allow for staying on board well after the sun goes down. There's no shortage of storage on the 215. Directly across the refreshment center, there's an in-console storage compartment with a fair amount of space to store gear. Below is a ventilated ski storage. To port is an insulated storage compartment that could easily service as the second cooler space on board. A wet storage compartment to the side of the aft swim platform makes a convenient spot to just toss masks and snorkels in before reboarding, and additional storage is at the transom walkthrough. And the 215 also crosses over nicely into the fishing zone. The foredeck not only serves as a casting deck, but dual pedestal seats fit into bases to either side. A pop-up cleat in the center of the deck eliminates concerns for snags. A live well is at the step to the bow deck. Storage underneath the bow seating is insulated and self-draining, allowing it to serve nicely as a fish locker. An additional pedestal seat location is at the swim platform, and rod storage is nestled into the starboard bulwarks. Let's go over some of the operational features. At the helm, Tracker went with a smoked windscreen over a vinyl panel with a compass mounted to the center. Below, a faux burwood dash includes full instrumentation and even a digital depth finder. The ignition is up high and to the left, well out of the knee strike zone. Toggle switches are all lighted when activated. To the left, the stereo is concealed in an enclosed compartment for protection from the elements. The wheel is mounted to a tilt base and there's plenty of legroom for even the tallest captains. The pedestal seat is a wraparound style with an open lumbar area for ventilation. A flip-up bolster is well padded and shows no tendency towards dropping down unintentionally. I found the engine hatch to be a little difficult to unlatch, but once open, there's appropriate installation for the 260 horsepower Mercury 5.0 MPI engine. There's plenty of sound reduction at the underside of the engine box, and Tahoe thoughtfully added a fire extinguisher discharge port to the side. Now let's get underway. The Tahoe 215XI has a length overall of 21 feet 6 inches, a beam of 102 inches, and a draft of 16 inches. With an empty weight of 3,510 pounds, half fuel, and two people on board, we had a test weight of approximately 4,038 pounds. With the 260 horsepower Mercury 5.0 MPI engine turning an alpha drive with a 14.5 by 19 Black Max propeller, we reached a top speed of 51.2 miles per hour at 5,200 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 21.8 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 76 miles. Best crews came in at 2,500 RPM and 24.1 miles per hour. That speed reduced the fuel burn to 5.5 gallons per hour, meaning the 250 could keep up that speed for nearly 6 hours and 142 miles while still maintaining a 10% reserve. With the Power Glide hull's 20 degree dead rise, we reached planing speed in 3.2 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, 30 in 8.7 seconds, 40 came and went in 12.7 seconds, and we continued accelerating through 50 miles per hour in 20.3 seconds. On accelerating, the 215 presents a 12 degree bow rise before coming up on plane in only 3.2 seconds. Add trim to about the one half mark on the trim gauge to get her into proper cruising attitude. Additional trim will cause ventilation of the propeller before any bow oscillation takes effect. She leans approximately seven degrees into the turns, and when taking power off, she settles back into the water stern first. 
Well, clearly, not only can the Tahoe 215 carry a lot of people and entertain them on the water, it can also entertain them in the water. That's my detailed walkthrough. And that's my full test. For BoatTest.com, I'm Erin Coriel. And I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.